Hey guys, Lipsy here. Welcome back to Train Sim World 2. Different stream today instead of the usual flight sim stream. We're going train sim because I am lagging behind. And uh, this recent route came out and I have been hearing good things about it. So let's go and check it out. Flight sim will be back, don't worry flight sim fans. Flight sim will be here sooner than we think. But for now, train sims. Here we go. OMG Swiss. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Thanks for joining everybody. Glad to see the early birds here. Hey, PDX. Goodness. Thanks for the sub, man. And glad you made it to the stream. I'm sure we could use your expertise today. <laughs> I will definitely be needing it. Welcome back. GG on 5 month streak. 13 months total. Goodness, time flies. Crane sims all the time. Resymbol. Root is fun. Love it. Thanks. Glad to hear it. That's promising. How's it going, Scotsman? <laughs> of course, you're present. Crane sim hype. Hey, Tom. Glad you're here. Hey, Patrick. Glad you made it. Hey, Alex. Thanks for joining. How was the hunt a while ago? I was lurking for a bit, but I couldn't chat because I was going in and out of my desk. <clears throat> Hopefully the game is updated properly. We will see. So it's the London commuter route that we'll be checking out. Uh, maybe let's go and get a bit of background in the meantime, right? A bit of lore. Let's see. So if I can show you this guy right here that should work there we go uh, one second uh, let's see where was it UK there it is so this London commuter route is from what I know and correct me here if I got it wrong it starts somewhere in London right kind of makes sense London commuter and it's actually a 50 mile route towards Brighton here to the south here where my mouse is see it so that's around 50 miles too bad we don't have a ruler maybe I should open little nav map it passes through Red Hill along the way and I'm going I'm showing this map already because as we've seen train sim world doesn't have the best maps does it like if you look at the the route there it's not it's very hard to get an idea of where it is in real life so let's have a look at the map first so we can visualize it and then let's uh, go on the trip. So starting in London, making our way south towards Brighton eventually but passing through Red Hill and I think I saw that there was a line passing through Gatwick Airport which kind of makes sense, right? What's the IKEA code for Gatwick? Does anyone know? Echo Golf, Lima Golf, I don't know. Moo, hey Calvin. How's it going man? Glad you made it. Glad you managed to join. Pretty late there. Oh, where are you now, by the way? Have you moved already? No worries, Tom. Make us your lullaby. Hey, Bao Bao, glad you made it. How's the trucking? Nice seeing all those uh, varied trucks, both in ETS2 and ATS. Heard you like trains. So you're gonna see trains while you train, so you can train while you train. Sounds good to me. Clapham Junction Railway Station is Britain's busiest station at one point. Where is that? Is Clapham a, a, a place? Yeah, that's true, Tom. That would be the dream. You moved, Tom. Oh, you moved too. Yes, I remember. Calvin, on the other hand, hasn't yet. I see. Ah, okay. Cool. <clears throat> Let us know when you do. So yes, that's the route. Let's go and see how that looks in the game. If I can find it. There we go. I had a bit of a scare a while ago, a few minutes ago. The camera wouldn't even work. <laughs> so I had to restart my PC. And the PC... You know, it's stuck in that restarting, that blue screen with the restarting circle. So I had to power it down manually. Ooh, Marvel hype.
It's in the London area. Ah, there you go. Clapham is super busy, and Gatwick Airport is the halfway point of the route. Ah, there you go. Makes sense. Gatwick Express goes between Gatwick and London, with some trips going to Brighton. Service has been suspended due to COVID. Oh, sad to hear it. Because there's not much traffic in there, huh? Hmm. But some southern services do stop at Gatwick, I see. So there's an express. That makes sense. Usually there's like a specific airport line, right? Which goes direct to the city. So you don't have to go through the different stops. Enjoy the convoy VOD. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have more soon enough. Good. Don't look at the tarmac at Gatwick. It's not that great. I think I saw it from your screenshot. <laughs> there we go. London commuter route. And the game crashed. <laughs> Let's give it one chance, right? Let's give it one chance. Let's attribute that to me enabling the OBS uh, game capture. Because that happens with ETS as well. So let's give it. Let's not count that as a crash caused by the game. Let's co catch, count that as a crash caused by OBS. Yeah, That's the only free pass it's going to get. ETS 2 version 2 <laughs> troubleshooting stream. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Alright. There we go. Now it's pushing through. Alright, so I wanted to go with the intro, actually. Uh, is it this one? Electro Star of the Show? I wanted the, the, very, the very first one where it introduces you to the route. I just loaded it up to see if it's working and then I quit already so we can all experience it all for the first time. Is it the first one? Maybe. Off to a great start, I know, right? How many times I get cross-eyed with multiple trains? Welcome I know. to driver training. Oh, this is Today not the first. This is not the first. There is an intro here. Hey, panda! Goodness, early bird, and I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Very early bird, panda. Or did you stay up late? You're you a night shift. Great to hear your wheel is working, but um, didn't quite get what you meant with the FFB plugin not working properly. Let me know if that, uh, maybe I can help you out here while you're, while we're live. Good, all right, let's try it again. London commuter, right? Um, I wanted to explore. This is the one, yes, the London commuter route intro. Stay late bird, there we go. <laughs> go sleep. Still working. Oh, hard at work paying for that wheel, huh? Well, it's worth it. More than worth it. That's why we work. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail to simulator featuring authentic hobbies routes and trains from around the vices. world. <laughs> okay. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left, and right. I am a bit concerned because track IR isn't on yet. Did they disable it while walking? Maybe, huh? Maybe. Also, the frame rate is not the best. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. Oh, 
This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. about now okay that should work right all right we're back i think it was too intense train sim was too intense the uh, nvidia broadcast thingy couldn't handle it had to shut down okay here we go <laughs> sign language stream yes uh miming it all out so where did i cut off in the beginning of the map Basically, this is what we looked at Google Maps. <laughs> That's done. Good. All right. So let's go and board the train. British signals are super basic and straightforward. That's great to hear. Because I have not studied it at all. Good. Yeah. It's not really muted per se, but it's a. I don't know what it is. I might need to update my graphics drivers. Seems like. Or maybe an update to the broadcast app. Because it seems to do that during a stream. Seems like it's uh, cor getting corrupted, so I have to restart the app. Because Nvidia bro Broadcast is supposed to like filter and clean the sound. So from the mic, it passes through there, and then from there, it passes through to OBS. But it looks like somewhere in that line, it gets corrupted. So I have to like rest restart it. You can pause the experience <laughs> at go. any point and review previous and current objectives. Dang it. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. Okay. So I, I remember there was a discussion about the rush hour passengers not being uh included here in this route is that right what is the rush hour passenger system all heads about up display yeah. has appeared on the right side of the screen this is a guide to what the train is doing how do you open the this again, is the guys? speed display control five the white needle shows okay. current speed the red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed okay uh, and then control what's the thing on the upper right to show me the speed limits and the upcoming signals I might need that in the beginning this Just enables is the more passengers display. okay an thanks. arrow will indicate forward reverse and neutral directions hey Gary welcome to the stream new Nvidia driver got an update today I might need to look at it hopefully it's stable this is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. 
Okay. This is more These on are teaching you they show the state what of the, the various is. brake systems, allowing independent management of them. Some people are getting horrible performance and crashes. Ah, it makes sense, makes sense. Make it stable first. Uh, speaking about that, let's see if track IR will work this time. There we go, now it should be working. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when there they will come into is. effect. There Some of is. these okay, displays good. can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. Okay. Gotcha. So what train is this, guys? Let's have a look outside again. Oh, can I not go out anymore? Yeah, probably can't, huh? Alright, so let's go and... So we just apply power? Release the brakes? Maybe just one. Okay, so it's a like a combined power and brake thing. I get it. What did they do here in London? Do they toot their horn when they're leaving? What's the norm? Uh, and control four. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. So I get an idea of how things are supposed to progress. 387. The Brighton this is the Main Gatwick Line Express. runs for roughly ah. 55 miles and runs express services to Gatwick Airport as well as commuter services between Brighton and London, Victoria. Nice. This particular train is a Gatwick Express Class Yo. 387 electric multiple unit and consists of eight cars. He dicks nailed it. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. Way ahead of you, bro. It is a bit quiet, isn't it? Press 3, okay. There we go. Beautiful. British trains is more your expertise. Oh, that's awesome. All right. They do look majestic. Love the detail on this train. Like, even like the dirt is modeled in. Amazing views right in the heart of the city. Are we in London or is this Brighton? I'm sure they, he said it, but I wasn't listening. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Hey Matt, good morning. Welcome to Brighton Mainline, things? located in the southeast of England. Here you can experience one of Britain's busiest main lines, linking the capital to the seaside resort of Brighton via the international hub London, of Victoria. Gatwick Airport. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, put up tourist posters, refill newspaper stands, and put up seagull signs. A steam Choose train. express services to Gatwick or packed commuter services through the British countryside. Welcome to Brighton Mainline, London, Victoria to Brighton. I want a steam train, but it has to be multiplayer, right? It has to be multiplayer so that we can blame each other when someone screws up. It's not an if, it's a when. <laughs> All right, looking good. Don't forget AWS. Baby steps. Baby steps. Um, so which train, which local would you guys uh, suggest? Let's have a look at the options here. It was a 387 that we were showing a while ago. There's the 375. Gatwick Express. What is SE? Southern something. Class 166 looks familiar. Great Western Railway. Alright, I think that's it. I like the sound of that. Is that diesel, maybe? This one, yeah, super quiet. This one has something. Certain wine in there. This is my favorite sound so far. Indeed, diesel hydraulic multiple unit. Do you see it? Yeah, kind of. The Flying Scotsman train. If you own SEHS... What is SEHS? Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> for a thousand services. Wow. Southeast high speed. Uh, this one is southern. Okay. Cool. The class 166 looks like an ATS truck. This guy? <laughs> sounds like, sounds like. Right, right. Yes. Anything with a DD60 at all. Exactly. How about this guy? Yeah, sounds massive. Okay. So, any recommendations on the train, on the route? Should we maybe go for training? Have a look at the 377 versus the 387 or should we jump into timetables directly? Any recommendations? Because we have a lot of these. Let's have a look for example on this. Uh, what route do you have here? We have Reading to Gatwick Airport. Gatwick Airport to Red Hill. So this seems like a... Uh, Mm, more of a Gatwick uh, commuter service, it seems like. But it doesn't reach Br Brighton. It, I think it's more on Gatwick to Reading, Red Hill kind of thing. Class 66 is squeaky. This guy. Mainly freight. Ah, I see. Around 10 minutes each. each. 387 from London to Brighton. Okay, good, good. So maybe let's go with that first. After all, we started there. Let's go for a 387 intro. 387 is fast. I like the sound of that. What are the normal speeds that they, that they travel at? The Class 166 is from Great Western Express DLC. Ah, so that's why it sounds, it looks so familiar. This 387, this is specific to this route. Is it? Is it, it was only Welcome added to driver training. this route. Today you will be taken through the operation of a class 387 electric multiple unit in Gatwick Express livery. Very nice. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driver controls and passenger operations. Whoa. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. Whoa. We're near the airport, maybe. Say it for for one more. Where? <laughs> there it is. There's one there. Flight sim is making an appearance. It's a sign, guys. Alright, anyway, let's get back here. Outside of Gatwick. Cool. Only runs in this route. Alright, then it's a perfect choice then. Take a seat in the driver's Thanks. seat. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. One second, I want to close the door first. There you go. I like that. It actually got muted. The the sound got muffled. Yeah, I hear the outside more. Those little details, right? Yeah, the, the, like the muffling as soon as the door closes. Good. Set the master key to on to begin the startup procedure. Okay. Master key to on. They actually take that with them, don't they? That kind of key there. I noticed that in other trains too. Some, I guess some sort of safety mechanism to avoid people stealing it or driving it without authorization, I guess. Box one. I hear someone knocking. There we go. That's probably what the auxiliary power. See? Good. Ah, there we go. Yard Jack, I imagine you've uh, ridden in some of these lines. Brighton, get some rock and hot donuts. Have you checked out? Have you bought this yet? Let's have a look at what that does. What are these? Seats, maybe? Compartments? I have no idea. Closed. Yeah, those might be all doors, right? Could be. All right. Um, so set that to neutral. Set the headlights to day running. Now we'll need to power the train. This train supports both overhead and third rail power. Although on this route, we will need to use the third rail. I have no idea what he said. 
Looks like something electrical. Oh, AC and DC system. Does it come with a manual? You have it. Oh, nice. Yes, we have a, uh, a local tour guide with us here now. All right. Is that it? Press and hold. Am I doing something wrong? There we go. Okay. Okay. Patience. Patience. Shoes down. Is that literal? Oh, look at that guy. Wait for the brakes to charge. Okay. So we started with the auxiliary power and then we started it up uh, the DC systems at least. Wait for the brakes to charge. I'm looking for the brake pressure kind of thing. Brake cylinder. Third rail provides electricity to the train since there is no overhead wires. Ah, I see. So how does it do that? There's like a battery here. Is it still electric or is that like a diesel engine? But I guess it's electric, right? If you step on the third rail, it will be the last thing you do. Um, what is the third rail? Is that something we can see from outside? I see. A third rail on the track. Oh, as in this guy. I see. So it's literal. So you guys mean... It's this guy right here. So we have two rails. There is a third rail. This one. And this one is actually providing electricity. So maybe that's conducting. Uh, so there is no overhead, uh, what do you call it? Catenary or something? But there is a third rail here. So if we look closely, maybe there is a connection here. Uh, the outside one. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, that makes sense. So it's this one and this one, which is the standard rails, right, for the train. This is the third rail. Okay, so let's see where the connection is. That one might be it, huh? You guys think? So that one is always in contact so that we get power. Why is there a cutoff here? The third rail kind of ends. There's like a gap in there. Outside the reverse determines the direction of travel. That's the shoe. Ah, that's why it's shoe down. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now it makes sense. Cool. You guys are amazing. So shoe down means that goes down literally. So that there's contact between the surfaces and that electricity can conduct. Runs along that rail. Touch it for science. <laughs> Uh, cool, you guys are amazing. You turn into a lightning bolt, yeah. Shoes on the bottom of the train that gets the electricity from the third rail. It runs along that rail. Cool. That makes a lot of sense. Is there only one third rail? No, there are many actually. Huh? Yeah, there's one there, there's one here. Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that... Like... You know, friction causing sparks and whatnot? Wouldn't that... Maybe it's just touched very lightly, huh? Yeah, there are lots of them. Danger, it says there. Live shoe gear. It does make sparks. Ah, but that's, I guess, safe, I hope. Lots of them. All throughout. Very nice, okay. Good. All right. So they say that the brakes are actually have been charged already. Move that to forward. Okay. We're currently are on max brakes, I think. How many levels? One, two, three levels of brakes. And we see the brake cylinder there. Actually, four, including emergency. Two, one. That's look looks like it's one to one with the bar. Like one notch is one bar, two notches 
two bar, three bar, and emergency. Something like that. Maybe. Okay, good. <clears throat> 10 miles per hour. Okay. Oh, and yes, we are speaking of miles per hour, miles and yards here. <clears throat> Keeping Ooh. to speed limits is important. If you begin overspeeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the combined power handle into the braking range. Makes sense. It does seem a bit... Uh, the notches on the brakes are not as... There, are not, there aren't many, right? That means it's going to be a bit more sudden sometimes. Oh my goodness, I saw I started seeing the speed limits. I guess that is pointing to where the speed limit is, which side of the track it pertains to. It seemed that way at least. <clears throat> I hear something powering up and down. Is that what you mentioned? Uh, I think Resimbol told that. You hear the power shut off and come back on. Yeah, that's the third rail. You Why? are now approaching the first stop. Use the combined power handle to apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Viv's gifted you a copy. Oh, that's awesome, man. Congrats. Train Sim 2022. Isn't that the same train sim from from before? So if you had the old game, you would have 2022 as well? Or is that a different one? Yeah, that's a nice thing. For all the hard work you've been doing for the community. Awesome stuff, man. So yeah, the third rail powers on and off. That's interesting. Is that because of those gaps in the third rail? <coughs> This coast here. Getting used to the momentum. That's pretty cool implementation. Thankfully, there is enough power. So that the train doesn't just die, huh? Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure it is safe before unlocking the doors. What is the hotkey here again? Why? Yes, okay, that's why. Let's see where we are. Over here. So we don't have the rush hour passenger system. That means we'll get less passengers, which is fine. Don't really get paid for this, for the amount of passengers, but it won't be as exciting. I wonder if they still have that logic though. You remember they were uh, um, showing off that new logic for the passengers where they have different appearances so that it's more randomized it doesn't seem like there are twins at all because of all the possible combinations is that part of the rush hour system as well so does that mean it's not here either or it's just the number of passengers that are not um up to speed it does seem like they look different and wear different things gatwick airport proceed to the next stop unguided this time and see how you get on Nice. British signals green equals tracks are clear, yellow is uh, or two yellow. Next signal is one yellow, and the signal after that is red, one yellow. Ah, so it's a progression, huh? Green, two yellow, one yellow, and then red. And the signals are mainly used for that kind of thing, not to indicate speed or whatnot. There is no such thing as a speed. Um, like in Germany, right? The depending on the combination of lights, you go at a certain speed. <clears throat> also, we'll probably get into the safety systems when we get to the timetable. So, what was that? The AWS, and uh, is there something else? Forty to the right. Is that right? I'm trying to read it, not really. It's scary when the tri like the train dies like that. Actually, here the power cut off. It's not speed based. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Hey, fake. Welcome to the stream. Are you a fan of train sim as well? 
When there's a yellow signal or red, then AWS would sound off and you would acknowledge it with a Q key. Makes sense. I would imagine I have to enable that separately, huh? From a circuit breaker or something. Amazon Web Services. <laughs> That's how I thought of it too, initially. Okay, let's see. Here's the stop. You also have a flashing yellow. Used to play it on the PS4. Nice. You can't explain, perhaps Scotsman can. Sounds simple enough. At least simpler than the German systems. Okay. Even the controls here are simple. You only have one lever. Good. Would be on the right side for this particular train. Right next to the door on the right. Ah, okay. Well, let's look for it later. Thank you. Get used to the braking force. Yes, hopefully. It's not such a long train, so it's not that bad, but I still have to get used to it. Hey, Celebones. Thanks for joining, man. How's it going? What have you been busy with these days? Twelve cars are fun. Would there be different like, variants of this train? Longer ones? Okay, off we go. How many notches of power do we have? Also four. Okay, four each. Okay. So I guess second or third would be a good place to start. Just realize how much DLC you have for train sim. 250 gig worth. <laughs> have you uninstalled it? For a while. There's one train. Okay, here it says 90. That makes sense. I can understand that. We do want the windows. What is that? Oh, blinds. Cool. We will now perform an emergency brake test. Why? No, I don't want to. Okay, fine. There. It's a very quiet train. Let's get the windows open. There we go. Get the ambiance. 90! One chit chewy. 4, 8, and 12 car variants. Nice. Windows 11 in ATS. How's Windows 11 treating you? Still haven't uh, upgraded. Is anyone else here on Windows 11 already? Uh, apply some power. Yes, there you go. Great work. We can now continue our journey. It's a very powerful train, huh? Oh, train? Ah, oh, oh, I got goosebumps with the sound. Very nice. Hey, Slider. How are things? Where have you been driving? Loads fast and no stutter. Windows 11? Nice. So you got better FPS with Windows 11? That's promising. 500 gig. Yeah, sell some. Maybe just one so you can get Iberia in Wyoming. Might have to upgrade if it's worth it. It is starting to sound tempting. We're crossing over a different track. Ah, is there an associated speed limit with that or still not? Why is the sound cutting off like that? It does seem a bit too loud now, doesn't it? Kind of like the interior sound like this. More muffled. Does anyone know what that is? <laughs> Let's uh, start coasting here. 
it's good to start slowing down, otherwise we'll overshoot. <clears throat> Speed would change. Not good enough for Windows 11. I got the same. It was saying I didn't meet the requirements or something along those lines. There will be a warning board telling you when the speed is going to change. Ah, okay, I see, I see. Thanks. Playing with trailer mods, cruising through Italy. Nice. Are you getting any stutters? Are you playing with own trailers? I want to try getting into own trailers again in ETS2, but not sure if the stutters will come back. Turn it off for the bypass. Should make breakfast. Isn't it late there? Good work! That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. Nice. Where's the door open? I think that's the one there, right? Okay, let's try clicking it next time. Not too shabby, I like it. Okay, I think we're ready to get into the timetables, right? Let's see. Let's try one timetable for the 387. And let's try and turn on the... How many safety systems are there? Is it, is it just AWS? Or are there more? Nah, did I click the right one? Yes, I did. 387, okay. Which one do we like? Oh wow, these are very long. Um, they maybe just this 30 minutes. London, Victoria to Gatwick Airport. That sounds nice, starting from London. Okay, like that, 858. AWS and DSD. What is DSD? Ah, okay. I see, I see. So I thought that was AWS actually. So what is this uh, drive, like the vigilance system? That's the DSD. You've seen a stutter here and there. Not on all jobs though. Ah, that's promising. That is promising. I would hope that's how it would be for me too. There are two safety systems, okay. So let's go and turn them on. Um, where would you guess that? Contact signaler here, I guess. Vigilance. Oh, DSD is different from Vigilance? Or is that AWS? No, this is AWS. Just enable that. DSD. How about Vigilance, guys? What is that? <laughs> Just turned everything on. <laughs> Driver safety device. Shift and enter. Oh, yeah, the shortcut. Thanks. Yeah, I, tr I try to uh, click it as much as possible though, just to, for the immersive feels. There's three you turn. Okay, we did it, I think. The AWS, DST, and the Vigilance. Okay, is that good enough? Let's go ahead and open the doors. It's not working, probably because I need to set the reverser first. The master key and then the reverser. There we go. Day running. Um, what is that sound? Ah. Ooh, fancy. Clear with the queue. Thank you. Need some more help for G29 FFB? Yes, let us know. And uh, we can try to help too. Q when you hear that, press Q. That's your AWS. Ah, okay. When would it sound aside from when you're passing through yellow and red? When you are... Uh, um, like the DSD. Is that the same sound? Well, I guess we'll see. Alright, let's try it. Some on. It's fast beeps. Oh, it's different. I see. 
but you clear the DST with Q as well. Okay. And then how does it work with the vigilance thing? Oy, oy, oy. Don't speed up too much. Let's turn off that thing. There you go. Space bar and N for horn. <laughs> nice. Would you know when you would use each one? I think it's time to go for some sightseeing. It's nice to see so many trains here in the yard. Bit laggy. It's worth it. My goodness, it's super quiet. Get a bit of power. So this one, currently, we're using the third rail again, is it? Passing through stations at high speed, you'll do it sometimes if there's people close to the platform. If there's a whistle signboard. Oh, I see. So it teaches you to, tells you to... Use your horn. On this route, it's always third rail, I see. So we'll hear more of that uh, turning off and on at some points. Very interesting stuff. Okay, we can start speeding up now. Looks like I didn't see the speed limit sign. I wasn't focusing. The visibility isn't the best, is it? Very isolated. What is that beep? I have no idea what all these sounds are. Ooh, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. It's green. Okay, so there's it's a bridge. Also, should I be looking at signals on the left side or right side? Party pooper building. Good luck, Panda. Let us know if you if you can help with anything there. It looks like you and Calvin have it set. My goodness, the, the, the bridge didn't get back in. Just means you have a green signal. Ah, I see. British signals are on the left. Okay, thank you. That's good to know. So even without seeing the signal, you kind of know what's coming up. Because of the, the, the beeping. That's nice. If it was yellow, that beep would have been a horn and you need to acknowledge. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. Makes a lot of sense. All right, let's go back to sightseeing. Oh, one more bridge. This looks so good. Is Jack here? I bet he would recognize this area. And if you don't acknowledge, emergency brakes are applied. Makes sense. If you do acknowledge though, after the brakes are applied, I guess it wouldn't matter, huh? It would do a full stop before you can do anything. Before you can start again, if it's emergency brakes. That's green. You are. Does this look familiar, Jack? This area? We've been seeing that green train all throughout. 60, I saw the sign this time. Oh. I acknowledged it. That's the vigilance pedal. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's just a periodic thing, right? Not really related to signals or whatnot. Okay. Looks good. Let's go and speed up to 60. Battersea Power Station at the right. Lit up. Is it that one? Did we miss it? <gasps> Look at this station. Goodness, that looks great. Very nice. Clapham Junction, this one. Looks like a big one, huh? Yeah. 
stuttery horn. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. On the left, you will see a Jack Spanner carrying an armload of Chaffa cakes. There, there. See? Oh, yeah. Jack Spanner spotted, caught red handed. You have been here at Clapham. Nice. Man, this feels so good, right? I imagine even more so if you really recognize the place. Yeah, let's stay here. 57. Yeah, there was a sound lag because of the stutters. Windows 11 upscales games to HDR. Is that good or bad? Um, this is based off the real life 2018 timetable. Every service on it except it's missing the uh, Thames, River Thames, Thames Link trains. Looks so good when the the track bends ever so slightly and you get trains, you get stations, and you get the very nice lighting right in the morning. The pop the pop ins kind of are a bit of an immersion breaker, but at some point you get used to it. I like it. No photo mode, yeah, unfortunately not. But uh, you do have this external view, which is actually pretty good already. So even though you can't pause the game, you can take a photo like this. So relaxing. So relaxing. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, there's a yellow sign up ahead. Let's see what kind of yellow that is. Two yellows or one yellow? Let's keep an eye on the tracks here one, one second it's green now okay oh too bad i was hoping to see something like that it's very good so far mods loads faster better fps overall no stutters ah very promising windows 11 huh yeah we'll see we'll see we'll wait maybe for a month or so for things to stabilize and then I'll think about it. The person with the timetable lives in the area and spent five months working on this. Oh, goodness. Now that's dedication. To get it correct in the game. Amazing stuff. <clears throat> I'd worked at Wandsworth, which is near Battersea. The one we passed. Super cool. I must feel great, huh? Recognizing places in game. Dovetail is hiring someone to work on back and multiplayer stuff. That's the vigilance thingy? Or DSD? What is the difference? Would anyone know? Difference between the DSD and the uh, vigilance that we enabled. Because they seem to be hand in hand. It seemed to me like the DSD is the Vigilance. But why would you need separate switches for them? And also have the, the shake of the cabin. Very nice as it's bouncing ever so slightly. <laughs> Not the best horn. Kind of stutters in, in and out. AMD, they would have to wait since there's a bug. Oh. Man, multiplayer train sim? That would be the perfect time for a steam train, I would say. Brighton too. Been there many times. Cycled from home to there. 63 miles. My goodness. How long did that take? Sounds like fun. Man, I like this. I like the lighting especially. It just feels so... Um, not flat. What is the opposite of not flat? Dynamic maybe. Oh! 
tilting is here. <laughs> What's the Alex scream? Do I want to hear that even? Get a bit of power, get back to speed. London tiltage. For track IR, no, I'm using a. I, I recently started using a flat um, thing, a. Uh, uh, they call it a fixed profile, an exclusive profile. Just so I wouldn't have to switch in and out. Because train sim, at least it was buggy before, didn't recognize specific track IR profiles. So I had to overwrite what profile it was using. So now I'm using the same profile in truck sim, flight sim, and train sim. Sudden terrain changes on this route. Ooh. Looking forward to that. So I see there's a 60 mile per hour change in the speed. How would I know that if I didn't have the overlay? What should I be keeping my eyes on? Because now that I have that heads up, I know how to slow down. Yeah, there's 60. But I imagine that should have appeared way back so you have time to slow down. Or is this one of those things that you have to know the route? Maybe. My goodness, it feels like the train shuts down at some point. I kind of like slash hate it. Root memorization. Ah, yikes. Okay, not the best for guys like me. <laughs> so I think that means I'll need the overlay in there. <laughs> Indefinitely. Generally, you'll know the root things. Hey, recovery, Musta. Yeah, great to see you, man. Welcome back. How's it going? Left home around 4 a.m., got there 10 to 11. Hey, that's not bad. That must have been good exercise, though. You must have had a great meal afterwards. I know I would be super famished after that. 45. Impunto. Thank you, overlay. <laughs> I wouldn't have had a chance otherwise. Yeah, there are way less passengers in here. But I still like it. I mean, the passengers to me are just like uh, icing on the cake. It's really the trains and the scenery, right? And the entire physics, the vibe, the sounds, of course. You get used to that sound. Good to know. Good to know, man. You had very healthy donuts. Oh, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. 41 months! With the jack spanner. Goodness. Thanks, man. Perfect for this route as well. 41 months. For the second. <laughs> as long as you pay twice. All in. <laughs> GG man How was the hunting by the way? I was telling Alex I was there I was lurking But I couldn't chat Because I was moving in and out Of my desk you guys find any moose? 60 Okay it's 60 again in here Let's keep track I are on So we can Keep looking around. Would you guys want to try windows open? I think it does sound louder. All right. Might be nice. Not in Africa. Texas article, yes. The fields and the plains and whatnot. Very nice. Okay. Push it, Chewy. Speed limit has gone all the way up to what is that? 95 ish?
Looks like Texas has a lot of those planes, huh? Not my most favorite thing. But I'm sure SCS will do a great job at it. And that looks so good. I also love how the trees are starting to get yellow and brown. They have seasons here in this game, right? I think. Oi. Just passed through a station. <laughs> Taking so many screenshots, guys. They do. Nice. They do. Cool. That is something I still hope SES would get. Where you can just pick a date. And then that would be... Ooh. And then that would be... Um, changing the trees as necessary. It's a bit too loud now, I think. Yeah, I think I like this better now. Now that, now that we're high speed, I kind of like the more uh, subdued sounds. A bit more relaxing this way. <laughs> Alright, VDX. Good luck. <clears throat> Enjoy the cooking. Take a photo for us. <laughs> Posting food. Hunt went well. Died two times and blah got picked. I didn't laugh once. Somehow I uh, find that hard to believe, but um, okay. <laughs> By the way, guys, we maybe we should start talking about the Friday stream. Ooh. <clears throat> Wonder what we should be doing. Because I was mentioning something about the possibility of doing an ATS convoy, right? With mods in 142 beta. I'm not sure if it's stable enough already for our mods in there. I'm last time we were talking, I think John Ruda. Uh John Ruda's trucks weren't very compatible yet. And I do want to try John Ruda's trailer, so I think I'm set on trying out John Ruda's trailers on Friday. I'm just not sure if it's something I want to do with Convoy or single player. Yeah, Ruda Trucks Convoy by FPS. Yeah, that's the problem. If we're going Convoy, we can't use Ruda Trucks. So no Freightliner Classic. Maybe we can go DD60, but on a different truck, right? That can be a thing. Also, if we're going Convoy and I'm enabling those mods, those are payware. And not everyone will have access to them. So, um, yeah. I would love to do a Convoy. Are you guys okay to uh, use payware stuff in? <laughs> payware, yuck. Says the guy who has billions of train sim DLCs. <laughs> Love it. Love the irony there. Uh, oh. I think I remember, where was it? I, I watched it in a stream. This driver vigilance system, this TSD, I think it, no, it, it springs up when you have it's based on driver interaction or something like that right if you don't touch the controls for i don't know 30 seconds and it it beeps so that you know are my lights off it says day running shouldn't that be enough why is it so dark doesn't feel like we're moving anymore Uh, if you don't touch the controls for like 30 seconds then it uh, then it's going to have that warning where you have to acknowledge it deadman's pedal there you go you have the dd60 okay <laughs> a convoy without mods or paid mods yeah that's the tricky thing because i could do a convoy but that would mean we would have to limit ourselves. We won't be able to use Z mods. We won't be able to use John Ruda. So that's going to be very limiting. That's why I'm torn. 
I want, that's why I wanted to check with you guys. If I do a convoy with John Ruda's trailers and the DD60 at the very least, would anyone be joining? Maybe let's start there. Okay, that looks good. Richbomb C15 has sounds covered. We can also go, yes, engine mega pack. That's true. We don't have to go Z mods if uh, only a few people have it. Still be fun, but you wouldn't be able to. I understand that. Yeah, that's always the limiting thing, isn't it? FLB, yes, FLB would be enabled for sure. You can join without mods. We will definitely have mods, I think. But... Uh, Maybe we can minimize or not use the payware stuff. Yeah, but I would not go convoying without mods. It's just too too harsh on the ears. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Viper truck. Viper's truck is also a bit heavy on FPS, isn't it? Start slowing down here. Maybe a bit more. Vacuum cleaner sounds. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's why I really like 142 because we can use mods now. We can use Krishbom sound mods. Yeah, that's free. I'm okay with that. But yeah, the ideal picture for me is to be using all the mods I really like. And still have the convoy. That means using Z mods, using John Ruda, but that would severely limit the number of people who can join. So I'm a bit torn about it. You use it, you don't have any trouble. Ah, you've used it in convoys. Nice. Okay, that's good to hear. Then we can enable the FLB. We can enable enable the uh, Viper, uh, the K100 for sure. Yeah, it's going to be my truck most probably. If we're going for free mods. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe let's stick to that one. Yeah, let's let's not use payware mods in the meantime. Let's start with free stuff and as much as possible I'll use Steam Workshop mods. So even if you don't have them, the game can automatically download and activate them for you. Alright, let's start there. Just like how we did it last week in ETS2. Let's do that for ATS this week. And uh, yeah, you guys are more than welcome to join. Oh yeah, that's true, Reforma. That is a good point. How should we do that? Cab over convoy FLB in K100. Yeah. I like the sound of that. It's the usual time. So it would be 8 uh, p.m. Eastern on Thursday for you. See who's going to fly off the mountain. Yeah, I can live without reform uh, in the meantime. If we are staying in like Colorado, Wyoming. So we could go with that. Goodness, are we almost here? Oh yeah, we almost are. Actually. Maybe let's stay at 60 in here. Got that night off. Nice, that's perfect. Who else is planning to join if we're going that way? Free mods, mostly Steam Workshop stuff. Maybe I won't enable any map mods in the meantime, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, Scotsman gets a free pass. You can just meh us all the way. Or 
Alright, so we have PDX who will be able to jo join. Who else is willing to go to 142 and uh, get those mods? Oh, we have two yellows starting to come up now. Makes sense. Is this by magnet again? I would imagine. There are magnets that make the AWS light up and uh, give you a warning. M to the E to the H. <laughs> Mr. Meh. <laughs> Sounds like a good name for you. Me, me, me. Pick me. Alright, Panda. Nice. Alright, so we have two guys. Who else? Let's go with that. Okay. I'll try to set up a mods list. But if I can't, I will uh, at the very least keep to Steam Workshop mods so it you won't have to download manually oh except for crash booms yeah i need the engine sound mega pack from crash boom oh. yeah one yellow looks good we are at 30 30 miles here nice no money what's that what does that mean six and then there's like a like that it seems like uh what what does that mean 60 no hmm. Uh, six miles six miles and then turning to the left that's how I would interpret it a feather aspect oh you're going to track six okay I see I see so there's a track number cool my cat may make several appearances in voice chat nice yeah we'll be trying to limit the the voice chat to CB radio. Let's test out the CB radio. I like the sound effects of it. So let's start. I think you hold X with that. And uh, yes, I'll be looking forward to hearing the cat purring. Okay. A third year now. Almost there. Might have to create the mods list and load orders send it in Discord. Sure thing. Yeah, that, that sounds uh, reasonable. I'll try to set it up by tomorrow if I can manage. I'll probably add a tab to the mods list so it's always accessible. <laughs> Did we just fail it? I was looking at the yards. There was apparently a red thingy. Let's load the last checkpoint. Let's hope that's somewhere near. <laughs> Dang it. And I thought I was there already. Red thingies are never good. You were supposed to stop at the station. Why did it say 68 yards then? Oh, great checkpoint. The checkpoint is literally at the beginning of the the route. Okay, um, maybe that doesn't work then. Well, if we finish this one, uh, what what route should we go next? Then? <laughs> Let me start part two of this uh, stream.